So hi, my name is Vesa Ristikangas and I'm representing Coaching House. And beside me is a very interesting person, John. Well, how would you define yourself? Are you the guru of team coaching or how would you define yourself? Oh, I would like, no, not a guru. I'd like to say I'm a major contributor. I'd like to think that I'm uh, bringing together lots of different strands within the OD and the coaching world, uh, the team building world, so bringing that together and we are creating a, a structure and a framework that we're calling systemic team coaching. Okay, so systemic team coaching is, is the core. That's right, yes. So yeah. the systemic bit is understanding the team within its wider context is, is the uh, contribution okay. I think we are making uh, to, to co the co whole coaching process. Okay. And if you need to define the nutshell of the team coaching, what is the core of it? Not uh, taking the systemic part yet, only the team coaching. Uh, the primary, uh, hmm, the core part is about the team having what we call a collective endeavour. Mm -hmm. What is it there to do? And can the members of the team pull together okay. for that specific goal? Are they in agreement? Uh, are they passionate about it? Do they believe in it? And are they willing really to commit to it? And if that is the case, then an awful lot will fall into place. Mm -hmm. But that's not easy to achieve. Right. Right. And then if you add the systemic part, what then happens? So it, the team is never in isolation. A team sits within its environment, it right. sits within its stakeholders, whether that's within the wider uh, framework of the organization or sits within its, its customer base. Mm -hmm. uh, it may be an organization that's involved in politics or environmental campaigning. Every team has a reason for being there. Its purpose is never in isolation. It's always connected. <clears throat> and understanding that connection and how the connection supports and gives value to the purpose of the, the team is what gives it its strength and, and vitality and its reason for being. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And if you take a role of an internal coach, for example, what you need to be very curious about what is the, okay, let me ask that way, what are the critical competencies in order to be an internal coach having this systemic team coaching mindset? Mm, the, being an internal coach has very specific uh, conditions around it because you are actually part of the organization system. Mm. An external team coach is coming in and has the advantage of having fresh eyes That's true. and asking the naive or the, the, um, the simple questions. The internal coach knows the system but is potentially lost in it. Yeah. So like the, the fish is the last to know about water because yeah. it's in it. Yeah. So that, that's the difficulty. So the internal coach has to be aware of their own biases and uh, have support and supervision to be able to step back a little bit from that and see the wood for the trees, to be able to see where they're caught up in it and utilize what they know. Because if we're talking about systemic team coaching, having an insight into the system and feeling it because they're part of it can be very valuable if it's harnessed. So that's probably the big advantage and at the same time. disadvantage yeah. from a systemic perspective. Yeah. And from the external coach perspective, what then is the core? Well, the, the, the core from a systemic point of view is that the external coach has to find out. Mm. They have to do the inquiry, they have to get in there, and they have to be careful not to simply focus on the team. Mm. The tendency is to think the team is it, but as we've just said, the team sits, it's nested within other parts of the system. So one of the things the team coach has to do is make sure that they widen their inquiry yep. 
to understand. And so with myself, I, I'll see the team, I'll see the team leader, and then I'll want to see the team's boss. Who is commissioning? Who's telling the team what they need to yeah. be achieving? And then with my clients, I'm constantly reading the papers, I'm listening mm -hmm. to the television, uh, the news, understanding, so what's going on in the world that may affect yeah. my, my focus on this team? And then my job as a team coach is to alert them. Yeah. I see my job as flagging up okay. issues. Uh, you know, they could be environmental, it could be political, it could be economic, mm, right. and, and helping the team pay attention to some of the things they may not be seeing because they're so focused yeah. On yeah. the next step of delivery. Yeah. Okay. So the uh, last last idea is about the future. Mm -hmm. How do you see the future of this team coaching flow? Uh, I think it's become it will become very central mm -hmm. to how organizations think. It's an integration of individual coaching, team facilitation, team development, systemic thinking. So it's going to be, uh, we're going to build a body of knowledge mm. that creates an intervention that is very powerful, complex, mm. but powerful. And as we understand where to focus our attention, because, it, because we've got so many dimensions to look at, the, the upside, the positive, is that you've got the whole range to intervene. Yeah. The downside is where? Yeah. Where is the best part? Yeah. You've got so much choice. Mm, you're right. And then the, the great team coaches will be able to focus in quickly and effectively on the key issues, yeah. the nub of the, of the dynamic, and that will make things move faster. And the less experienced team coach will wander around mm, right. all over the place and eventually get there. Yeah. So it often, often experienced practitioners often just get there faster. Yeah. So it's about ability to see. Yes. See, see patterns yeah. of patterns. how things are unfolding yeah. at all of these different levels. Yes. Very interesting. I think so too. Yeah, it's very. And thank you, John, to have you here in Finland Pleasure. visiting, and and let's let's continue that interesting journey. Absolutely. Lovely. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.